Hi there, so um, September already. Um, I've uploaded various uh, videos for my monthlies and weeklies for September, but now that they're all finished, I thought I'd just have a, a quick run through, walk through um, what I've done for this month. So, for the first time ever, I slightly themed my monthlies. Um, it's the first time as well that I've done a, a big um, monthly spread. Uh, I've got quite a lot going on in September this year, so um, needed the bigger boxes. Um, mood tracker, and saw this on Pinterest, really liked the hexagon um, honeycomb effect, so give that a go for the first time this month as well. Um, and I've just pulled through a neutral theme, um, this is craft cardstock with a white gel pen. Uh, my daily highlights, so line for each day, my gratitude journal, which I stick to one or two words for each day, but I do try to take the time each day to find something to be grateful for. Um, then on to my sleep tracker. Basic chart, really, where I end up with a line graph as uh, the month goes. I do put a line in the middle here, so six and a half hours is um, sort of the minimum that I like. So I, I'm able then to see how many days are below the line and how many days are over. And then my habit tracker, and I think I pretty much track the same things as a lot of people. Um, I like the big boxes type setup. Um, if you're colouring in one of these boxes, it's because you've completed or done something good. So I like the big boxes. And then on to my weeklies. Um, as I say, I've uploaded separate videos um, for each of the weeks, but just thought I'd go through um, all four uh, now that they're done. So um, my favourite layout, uh, one that I stick to fairly regularly, um, and then I tend to flip. So I like a day, uh, a box for each day, um, space for meal planning and for these boxes are big enough that they'll go at the bottom and then I have my don't forget box as well. Second week, slightly different format and again my to do and then my meals and my don't forget box. I decided to go bold and try a colour that I'd never tried before in my bullet journal so um, we'll see how that feels when I get round to, to that week. It is in my favourite format, so um, the uh, the shock won't be so bad, uh, but we'll see how that goes. And then finally, because I always stick to boxes, I wanted to do uh, a week where I don't have boxes just to see how that feels. Uh, and um, a bit of washi tape, uh, bunting washi tape that I've got for each of the headings on that one. So that's a really quick run through, um, you know, my September uh, monthlies and weeklies. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this. Uh, please look up the other videos, which is a little bit more time as I'm actually um, creating each of the weeklies and the monthlies. Um, so um, please have a look at those if you've got the time. And uh, please subscribe uh, if you want to stay in tune with um, what I'm doing here forward. So I'm, I'm quite new to bullet journaling, I've been doing it f only a few months now and I do find that um, what I see on Pinterest and um, YouTube it gives me loads of ideas so thank you to those that upload regularly. Um, I hope there's uh, inspiration for others with, with what I do. Uh, I'd love to hear from you so um, please leave a comment below um, if you'd uh, like to leave something for me. Thanks for watching. Take care.